we're going to talk about reflexes and give some examples. First, I want you to do a learning outcome. So address one of your learning outcomes um, using these five boxes that you've seen before for stimulus response pathways, as well as feedback pathways. Um, add the specific terms that go in each box. Two of these terms don't go in boxes. So it's the input and output signal. So pause the video to do this. Here we go. So you should know these terms. Input signal is a sensory neuron. Um, output signal is the motor neuron. And this kind of pathway works for any reflex arc, uh, which is a stimulus response specific to reflexes. Let's try something else. I would like you to try to diagram the knee-jerk reflex. Now, within in these boxes, I know we don't, you haven't, we haven't talked about this yet, um, but you probably know what the stimulus is. You might know what the response is. Do as much as you can filling in these boxes. Um, if you put the term in the box before stimulus, that's fine. Um, put the second term next to it or next to the box, whatever. Okay. So here's the basics. Hammer on the knee. It's not really on the kneecap itself. Um, we'll get back there. Um, we've got detecting stretch. Um, this information goes to the spinal cord. Then we've got the muscles that are going to cause a kick. Okay, so let's do this same basic thing, um, but with some more detailed anatomy in it. So we're going to be talking about stretch reflexes. There are many stretch reflexes, not just the knee jerk, but the knee jerk is what we're going to use as our example. Stretch reflexes do um, occur other places in your body, so other muscles that act similarly. The knee-jerk reflex is also called the patellar tendon reflex. So let's add some anatomy here. Um, I'm going to have an image of the spinal cord and a leg show up here. Um, please pause and label these as best you can in your own notes. Um, so for example, label as much as you can. So here's the components that you should know from either lab or lecture. Okay. Um, so let's start with the hit to the patellar ligament. That's going to be step one. So it's not really the kneecap, um, patellar tendon mem member ligament. People will, will call it, um, kind of use those synonymously. Um, let's do step one. Patellar ligament hit. That's going to be detected by sensory receptors, right? Um, stretch receptors specifically. Where do you think those stretch receptors are? Definitely not, not clear if you don't know it. Um, I've told you there are receptors in joints, in muscles. Um, this one is actually going to be within the muscle. So this is a muscle spindle. And actually, I have a animation here. Let's see if that's gonna. Nope, that works. Um, the muscle spindle is going to detect stretch when the the hammer hits the that ligament. It causes the entire muscle to stretch. So the muscle spindle is a sensory receptor that detects that. As you can see from the picture now, I've added a sensory neuron in. That is, um, and the number of steps you have for this isn't really important, um, right? It's, it's continuous things. This is going to be carried in sensory information via the sensory neuron to the central nervous system. So that's this unipolar neuron shown in blue here. Note this sensory information is actually traveling all the way through the dorsal horn to the ventral horn. There are cell bodies in the dorsal horn um, that process sensory information, but some of the information actually travels right through. Sensory information is traveling through that dorsal horn and synapsing in the ventral horn because that's where we're going to have motor. Let's say two. This sensory neuron here is actually the femoral nerve which should make sense. 
So the sensory neuron I'm shown, I'm showing is one axon in the formal neural network. I've drawn one axon. There'll be more than one that's activated, right, by this stretch. And more than one muscle fiber, it detects that stretch. These muscle spindles are located within many muscle fibers. So femoral nerve is going to carry the information to the spinal cord, um, to the CNS, so specifically the lumbar region, L2 through L4. That's where the femoral nerve um, arises from, right? That's the spinal segments um, and where the, this nerve arises. Okay. Um, in the central nervous system, this is going to be a pretty simple processing. All that really needs to happen is we need to activate the motor neuron. So let's add that in. This red neuron I've added in is a motor neuron um, directly innervated by that sensory neuron. So motor neuron is activated. This motor neuron is also within the femoral nerve. That's this here, femoral nerve. Um, technically, it wouldn't be the femoral nerve until it's past the ramus, right? Because it becomes a peripheral nerve after the plexus has divided. Um, notice this information is coming into the ventral ramus. That's where information um, kind of on the ventral side and the, the lower limbs are is carried. Okay, this motor neuron is going to cause the quadriceps to contract, right? Going to cause the knee to extend. That's our knee-jerk reflex. So this is showing that same thing, um, same components here, um, monosynaptic. Right, I didn't write that on the previous slide. I think I said it. Of course, spinal, somatic, ipsilateral. Um, this image also shows right what happens to the leg. So showing with that contraction, you have that extension um, of the of the leg at the knee. Okay, last thing for this knee jerk reflex is going back and adding in the details here. So can you add in more specific than what we wrote before, more specifically what these things are? So the patellar ligament is what's being hit. Um, the receptor is muscle spindles. If you had stretch receptor in there before, that would have been totally fine. Um, the sensory neuron is part of the femoral nerve. Spinal segments um, within the spinal cord is L2 through L4. Femoral nerve for our output signal as well. The muscles specifically are the quadriceps, which you could name the four of them, I'm sure. And we have contraction. Of those quadriceps, leading to knee extension or tibia extension, tibia and fibula extension. All right.